Hey everybody. Fat Bird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. And today, Laura, we're going to talk about our quarter one sales so far this year. Oh boy, I'm excited. So this is exciting because back in November, December, we did um, our very first $1,000 on eBay. And that took us about six months to do. It did. So we've made our second $1,000 so far this quarter. Hey, that's fantastic. I know. That's just half the time. Exactly. So we're getting a little bit better at it. You guys are probably thinking, oh my gosh, that's really part-time, but that's what we are. <laughs> it is. It's very part-time. You know, $1,000 isn't that big a deal in the scheme of things, but for both of us who have full-time jobs, you know, $1,000 extra in our bank account is great. You know, if we want to go on a trip or, you know, do something fun. Yeah, I can't wait to plan that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's get right down to it, and we're going to tell you guys what sold this quarter uh, to give us about a thousand dollars. Awesome. Okay. All right. So the very first thing I've got on this list is a green pig planter. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> Even though it wasn't marked, it was just adorable because it had all the mama pig and all the little babies. Mm -hmm. You can see the picture there. Um, super cute. Yeah. So we picked that for only a dollar, and we sold it for twenty-eight. Yeah, it came from that um, online auction that we did. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing I've got are some green berry bowls. Oh, I remember those. They were square. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they were all different sizes. They were kind of mixed match, so I was happy to sell those. And um, they, they weren't really a pattern or anything, so anything we got out of those. I forgot. What did we get? We picked those for 50 cents, and we sold them for $25.99. Oh, that's awesome because that was out of an auction lot of things that was only like a dollar for the whole box or yeah. something. Yeah. So that was fantastic. Yeah, that was a good one. Okay, here comes our probably our best sale of the quarter. Do you, really? remember, do you know what it was? I can't guess what it was. Okay, so it was the Red Wing coffee pot. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about the Hot Wheels, but I think you're right. I think this is better. That's later. <laughs> So the, yeah, the Red Wing coffee pot, um, you guys, that's a good, uh, bolo, uh, Red Wing pottery. I think it all sells really well. It's collectible. This little teapot even had a little bit of damage on the lid. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was a great find. I think the lids are pretty rare to find intact, aren't I th they? I think so. Because they're so delicate. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that one was picked. We paid up for this one a little bit. We picked it for $48. We don't do that very often. No, we don't. <laughs> but we, we ended up selling it for $165. Yeah. So that was awesome. Yeah. I was excited about that one. Okay. The next thing I've got is this dogwood ashtray. <laughs> You thought you would get me on that one, didn't you? It's a magnolia <laughs> ashtray. Definitely magnolia. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just, it was super vintage, super cute. Um, and I don't know, it sold pretty quick. I think it's a dogwood. <laughs> it's a magnolia. I promise. <laughs> we picked that one for a dollar and we sold it for 16. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think so. Okay, the next one I'm not super familiar with because I'm not really sure where you got it, but it's a Talbot's short sleeve sweater. Oh yeah, at the beginning there, I thought about doing Poshmark and selling some clothes when I started thrifting at Goodwills, but the hard goods were much more fun right. to me and to you too. So um, anyway, that was just a sweater that I had picked up at Goodwill. Okay. And um, so we just sort of... Uh, Got rid of that and moved on. Okay, so you um, picked that for two fifty and we sold it for six ninety nine. So not a huge gain there. No. But again, that was you know toward the beginning of the stuff that we were accumulating. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next thing that I've got on here, my goodness, is this clown cookie jar. Laura, when you brought this thing into my house, I was like, what is that? Nobody's going to buy that. <laughs> and it wasn't really a clown. It's like a, you know, like a harlequin or a... I guess... <laughs> A mime? I don't know. I, I didn't know. like it. <laughs> Did you think it was creepy? Yeah. Oh, I think it's cute. <laughs> but yeah, it was um, from that. You remember the auction we went to with all the furniture that mm -hmm. was so fantastic? And I told you it was uh, an antiques dealer. Mm -hmm. It was in his stuff, and so I knew it was gonna. I knew it was good, and I just guessed at the price, and well, it might be worth more than that. I don't know, but it had a little crack in it, even. Well, you picked it for a dollar, and we sold that for forty nine dollars. When you texted me and told me that you'd sold that for forty nine dollars, <laughs> you could have knocked me over with a feather. That's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> Okay, so next we've got a candy corn zigzag afghan. Oh boy, here goes our afghan. Yes. We sold 
several of them. We always pick up afghans if they're for a reasonable pr reasonable price wherever we go. I think we should do a whole video on afghans. That would be good. But this one in particular was like fall candy corn colors and in a zigzag shape. So it really did look like candy corn. Mm -hmm. And it was just so cute. It really was. And we picked that at the Goodwill for $2.79 and sold it for $27. Yay, that's a good one. It, and probably it was just kind of smaller. Because if they're bigger, we get a little bit more out of them. Yes. Yeah. The next thing on my list, Laura, is my favorite item. Oh. Do, do you know what it is? Um, hmm. Nope. It's the shell art. <laughs> you surprise me every time with that. <laughs> okay. I really think that you're serious, and then you say the shell art. The God, that was so funny. Okay, so here's the scenario here. <laughs> So we went to this auction and bought like a big tote full of junk. And it was big. It was a big tote. Like under the bed kind of big. Yeah. <laughs> and so in this tote, yeah, it's one of those like flat ones that mm -hmm. you can put under your bed. So in this tote were tons of salt and pepper shakers. And in the bottom, there were like these little bitty <laughs> shell people like made out of seashells glued together with, with googly eyes. Googly eyes. And I was like, Laura, what are these? And I was like, let's put these on eBay just to see. And so we put them up there. You know, this the stuff that I'm saying that we got out of this tote, I don't exactly know how many how much we spent per item, but we're saying that we spent a quarter for each of the items in there. You know, we were just starting out. I think we should next time we do something like that, we're gonna show the whole box because it's really interesting. I mean, we donated a lot of it and there's just a lot of stuff in there for like eleven dollars yeah okay so we're saying that we spent a quarter on that and we sold those little shell people for nine dollars <laughs> that's great isn't that fantastic yeah i like it <laughs> okay so the next thing i've got also came out of that tote um it was a set of these green bulb salt and pepper shakers not not super valuable we're saying that we spent a quarter on those and we sold those for 5.99 hey laura this next one is one of your items this is a uh, wood handled purses Oh, that's right. That was my uh, Nashville flea market pick when mm -hmm. we were kind of having a contest. Um, I actually carried those purses. I know some of you guys must have too um, in the 80s. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't have picked this up except that it was marked. And so that makes it a lot easier to sell. Yes, absolutely. So Laura, you picked that up for $6 and we sold those for 31. That's awesome. Yeah, it was the handles and several covers. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good flip. Okay, hey, this next one is one of my picks from the Nashville Flea Market. All right. It was those Mary Ann's measuring cups. Oh, those were cute. Yeah. But I did not think they were going to sell for that much. <laughs> so they were just some little metal measuring cups, and they were in their original packaging, their mm -hmm. original box, even though the box was in pretty rough shape. So I picked those up for $5, and we sold those for $29.99. Yeah, I can't believe that. I won. I think I won. <laughs> Do you think you won? I don't know. I, th I think we still need to add it up. <laughs> okay, so the next item on the list, again, is something out of that tote. It was a set of snowman salt and pepper shakers. We spent a quarter on those, and we sold those for $4.99. Yeah, they were just little, um, somebody painted them at home, you know, yeah. but they were cute. Very cute. Hey, this is a good one. I'm going to take credit for this next one. Okay. Okay, so we went to this auction. We went to the, What? <laughs> We went to the preview for this auction, and when we walked around inside, we saw these glasses. And they were in pretty rough shape, not really, but they were just filthy. And I think a lot of people overlooked them because they were kind of grimy in this cupboard, and I don't think anybody really looked at them. That was our retro online auction, right? The yes. The retro house. Yeah, yes. I love that house. Yes. And so when it came time to bid, nobody was bidding on them. So I just threw a dollar in the ring, and I was like, I'll spend a dollar on those. And we won them. And it was 21 multicolored glasses and they were different sizes. And I got home and cleaned those up and they were gorgeous. They were so pretty. And there, there were little bitty tiny like brandy snifters, mm -hmm. cordials in there. I, I think we should have kept those. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't. We picked them for a dollar and we sold them for 42. Yeah, I can deal with that. That's pretty good. That's a really good, that's a good flip. Yeah, it is. Okay, the next one. Oh, that Native American afghan. That one was really pretty. Oh, I love that one. My gee found that for us at a yard sale. Yeah. And um, 
it was just really, really, really different. I've never seen anything like that. And then later on when I was looking them up, you can buy the kits, I think, to make those. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But um, even the kits are like super valuable, you know, like a hundred dollars. Wow. Something. Yeah. Okay. Well, that one was cool. That one was two dollars, and we we turned around and sold that for forty nine. That's awesome. It matches your shirt. Yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> okay, the next one was also one of my picks at the Nashville Flea Market. Uh, the Viatri Ceramic Swirl Bowl. Oh yeah, that was in that big field of boxes that everybody oh. thought was so awesome. Yeah, it was video. just boxes and boxes just laid out on the floor and you just had to rummage through stuff. It was fun, but it was it, hot that day. It was fun and we found a few things. We could have found a lot more if it hadn't been 100 degrees. It yeah. was so hot. Yes. I spent $3 on that one and we turned around and sold that for $9.99. That's pretty good. That's yeah. a pretty good flip because I mean it, it wasn't um, old at all. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Laura, the next thing on this list is those feet salt and pepper shakers from Arkansas. <laughs> With the red toenail polish. Oh my gosh, those were so bad. Oh, they were pretty bad. They were in that tote of salt and pepper shakers as well. And oh my gosh. I'm sorry if you're from Arkansas that that's what represents your state. It, we're, we're from Kentucky. I'm surprised they don't have those for Kentucky. They probably do. Well, anyway, those were pretty bad, but they were funny and I'm glad that somebody wanted those. We're saying that we spent a quarter on those and we sold those for $4.99. I was just glad to sell those. <laughs> hey, Laura, here's one of your picks coming up is that little donkey. You remember him? Oh yeah. We got, I got him at the same booth as the purse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I just thought he was adorable. He was adorable. He has, he was pretty. He was like giraffe colors. He wasn't a giraffe, but his paint was even a little faded, but he sold quickly. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. So I've got listed here that you spent $4 on that and we sold it for 12. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think so. Hey, here's a good one. Your mom picked this up for us. It was that Sputnik weather station. Man, that was awesome. Wasn't that cool? That's another thing we should have kept probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> But it had all these like gauges on the inside, like a barometer and a thermometer and it spun around and uh, it was just super cool. I think it was made in Germany. Yeah. And I love it when you absolutely know that something is vintage. You could just, I mean, you knew that that was it. it the place that it came from was completely untouched from the sixties. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, it had those, the vintage looking tag on the bottom. Atomic. Yes. <laughs> yes. I loved it. It was awesome. So this one was really awesome because we were zero dollars in on it. Your mom gave this to us. Yeah, that's always the best kind, right? I know. <laughs> and then we turned around and sold it for $79. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I, I wish we had that one back as well. <laughs> okay, so this one was one of yours, Laura. It says Chico's necklace. Oh yeah, yeah. I put I've only put one or two necklaces on so far. Um I decided to try shopping at Goodwill.com for some jewelry because I had seen other people do it. You guys have seen them open the jewelry jars and things like that. And this was a small lot of jewelry and I, my day job is at the bank. And so to look professional, I always try to find some cute um, jewelry. And so I sold what I didn't want to wear and got my money back. Awesome. So I'm pretty excited about that. Great, so I've got listed on here that you spent a dollar and we sold that necklace for 11. Yeah, there were several things in that lot and it was only $11 for all of it. Cool, so. great. Okay, I've got a really cool afghan coming up here. This one says multicolor zigzag. This one was really pretty. Oh, you liked this one. Remember, yeah. we got that at the antique mall. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was really pretty, really vintage looking. We spent $2.50 uh, for that at the thrift store and we sold it for $35. Okay, next on the list, Laura, another set of salt and pepper shakers. This one said Colorado. So again, we're saying that we spent a quarter on those and we sold that one for $8.99. I like those. Those are truly souvenir ones that had little maps and stuff on there of the state. They yeah. were cute. Hey, another Afghan coming up. We love Afghans, guys. Don't let those just sit there. Pick them up. They're valuable. People love those. This one had daisies on it. Yeah, this one was, um, it was 3D is yeah. what they call that when the flowers stand up and stuff. And um, normally they bring a little bit more than the regular ones. Um, 
I don't know how this one ended up doing, um, but it was cute. It was just white and yellow. It was really cute. Mm -hmm. We spent $4 on that and we sold it for $26. That's pretty good. Yeah, it was kind of small. If it had been bigger, it would have brought more. It was, and it wasn't weighty or anything either. It was that real open weave. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this next one I wish I had back. <laughs> It was the Hager Boomerang Ashtray. Oh, I know. You really loved that one. I really did. If it had been orange or blue, I think I would have kept it because those I, are the colors in my house. Yeah, I think that was your only holdup because it really wouldn't have matched. It wouldn't have at all, but it was mm -hmm. super retro, really cool. It was. I loved it. Marked really great on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. So we paid $3 for that one and we sold it for $29.99. Yeah, it went to California and man, there was... It cost almost that much to ship it too. Yeah. But I mean, we get shipping on top of everything, so that's okay, but. Yeah, so just so you guys know, um, we charge shipping prices. We don't sell anything with free shipping. So everything that we're telling you, we got shipping on top of this. So this is, you know, purely just what we paid for it and what we sold it for. Sometimes, like I always estimate the shipping just because I'm just not used to it yet, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm not organized enough because we're part-time to have everything all packed up and measured. So we make a, I make a few mistakes here and there and the California ones really get me because they're really a lot more expensive True. from Kentucky. Yeah. But we're learning, we're getting better. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next one um, was that buyer's choice clock. Oh yeah, that was cute. I don't know, you guys remember we sold the big lot of carolers at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. um, that people collect for Christmas, and this was the same brand, and it goes with uh, it goes with those. But we thought it didn't work, and then Mary Beth got uh, industrious and got it to work, and um, so we sold it separately. Yeah, we did. So that was another zero dollar in because your mom found that and gave it to us. Yeah, that was great. So we were zero dollars in, and we sold that clock by itself for forty two dollars. Uh, and it just so happens, that's funny, it's coincidental, that was kind of one of my shipping mistakes, I think, because the clock was kind of tall. It was taller even than 12 inches, and I didn't know how hard it was going to be to find a box for oh. that to fit in. And it didn't weigh anything, but the size of the box made it way more expensive than I thought it was Yeah, we be. probably should have built like a custom box for that one. Yeah. Live and learn, guys. That's right. <laughs> Next one, another set of those salt and pepper shakers. Um, this one was an ox and a wagon. They were just really little and metal. Uh, 25 cents for those and we sold those for seven. So now we've got another Afghan. This one had hexagons on it. It was really retro and pretty as well. Yeah, we both want that one. <laughs> so this one was a really nice sale for us. We got it at the Goodwill for $2.79 and we sold it for $49.99. <laughs> and totally random. I mean, you know, they're just now getting popular. So there's no real standard to know what one's worth except what somebody will pay for it and we both loved that one we're like we'll keep it if it doesn't bring very much but it brought fifty dollars yeah love it okay pink one mug laura you got this didn't you yeah i did that was just on a, on a goodwill day you guys our goodwill is not very good <laughs> yeah we don't have one of the best ones ever no so it's not their fault i'm just saying we we just live in an area we just they don't have very much so i always check the mugs because you know you see resellers having good luck with those and this one kind of ticked off all the the um boxes because it was cheap it was 59 cents um it was themed mm -hmm. so that anybody that was a collector of penguins yeah probably stood a chance of getting that and yeah sure enough they did she was penguin kimmy or something like that so we Bought that one for 59 cents at the Goodwill and we sold it for 11.50. It sold quick too. Yeah, it did. Okay, so here's another salt and pepper. This one was Eskimos. Again, we're gonna say that we spent a quarter on it and we sold these for 8.99. Okay, remember earlier when you said, I think my mom got us something else. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Okay. It's the, the snack trays that, that, that stacked. Oh yeah, those were so cute. Those were like, Carol Brady set them out on her counter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They were very retro. They're lacquerware. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but I mean, you know, it's like a, anyway, it's very distinct mm -hmm. it's, and it's not plastic and it's very seventies. <laughs> yep. So those were $0 because your mom found those for us and we sold those on eBay for 20. I 
of thought those might bring a little more, but yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing that I've got on the list um, was a clown mask. And I actually found this at our local, like, Peddler's Mall. Mm -hmm. And we were just going around trying to find some stuff to flip. And I came across this mask, and I, it was $5. And I was like, hey, I bet, I bet there's some collectors out there that would like this. I opened it up, and it didn't look like it had ever been worn. And the costume was still in there, too. So I picked that up for $5, and we ended up selling that for $34.99. That was great. You yeah. held out for that one. We didn't take it. We had like tons of watchers on that. Mm -hmm. um, and I was just going to say that you should go ahead and try to, you know, go ahead and put your seasonal things on if you've got enough space in your eBay store or, or whatever. Because I think that things sell all year round. Yes, absolutely. Okay, the next thing that I've got is something else that we were zero dollars in on because my dad gave this to me to sell. And this was a yellow Roadster with a rumble seat. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. Yeah. Made by Nylant mm -hmm. Company, and it was in almost perfect condition. Yes. You know, it sold pretty quick. We might have been able to get a little bit more out of it, but we did our homework, and everything that we looked at said it was worth about $45, and we put it up there for $49, thinking that we had it overpriced, and it sold pretty quick. Yeah, I was thrilled. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> hey, the next thing that we've got up on here, Laura, was something that we've had almost since the beginning. And it was that Left in Lion piggy bank. <laughs> We've had him on there for a long time. Yeah, we almost took him off. And um, if it had been yard sale season, we probably would have yanked him down and put him in a yard sale. But <laughs> I think that he, he, there's a little bit of a lesson there because uh, we almost didn't list him. There's, there was probably 30 or 40 of those listed, uh, sold and um current combined which is a lot and they started at like two dollars and something and they were listed all the way up to twenty dollars and so we just took our chances and put it up there but i think if you're you know if your pictures are good your description is good yours might stand out above those uh lower dollar items and that one did it sold. yeah i think that's exactly what happened we spent 50 cents on that and we ended up selling it for 14. yeah that was great i think so so in that circumstance it was good to hold off and just keep that listing up there mm -hmm. a little longer it ended up paying off mm -hmm. next thing i've got is a white afghan laura now you usually say that plain afghans don't sell as well but this one i think stood out because it had such a really pretty pattern yeah we talked about that and showed it in the video of that haul and um it really did stand out and it, even though it was smaller that's why we didn't put as much on it um it was smaller but it was really pretty yes and we picked that up for $4 and we sold it for $29.99. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with this here. <laughs> okay, so the next thing on our list is something that also came from my dad. And he was going to throw this one out. And I was like, no, don't do that. Let me take it. I'm going to sell it. And he goes, well, what am I going to get? <laughs> oh, your dad. That's so cute. <laughs> I know. So he said, yeah, go ahead and take it. So we brought it home. This was a 1968 Hot Wheels racetrack. And so we brought it home, got it all out, set it up. It worked. We raced cars for a while. <laughs> yeah, whatever we got out of it, it was probably worth it for all the fun we had with it. <laughs> That's true. So again, guys, I was $0 in on this and sold it for $99.99. That's awesome. Isn't that a great one? Yeah, that's a great one. I love it. And just so all of you guys know, I did offer him that money, but he wouldn't take it. <laughs> yeah, that don't, that's going to be hard to talk. <laughs> Okay, so now I've got an Earthy Tones Afghan. Oh, I like that one. I picked that one up just specifically for the colors. I thought it looked like kind of camo colors. It's probably like a variegated thread. And sure enough, it was pretty popular. It sold pretty quick. Yep. Um, and so that one was a pickup at the Goodwill for $2.79, and we sold that one for $29.99. I love the Afghan. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, my gosh, this next one. Again, out of my dad's closet. If any of you people <laughs> out there have parents who are going through their stuff and downsizing and throwing things away look over their shoulder and don't let them throw everything away because i can't believe that this sold and i really can't even tell you why i decided to take it something inside me was just like don't let him throw that away this is and this is good sourcing you know for now that we can't get out to the thrift stores yeah better hit the closet <laughs> so this was an accutron watch box it was empty so the the watch box had like a display case inside it and the original paperwork was in there 
but it was just an empty watch box. It was super mod. It was really 70s, you know, looking on the little footed pedestal and was acrylic and all that kind of stuff, but it was empty. So this is an absolute true story. Laura and I were on our way to a movie. Mm -hmm. She was listing it in the car. She finished listing it in the parking lot. We went into the movie. When we came out, this item had sold. Yeah, sold and paid for. <laughs> in three hours. We should have listed it for more. So, again, we were $0 in on this, sold it for $29.99 for an empty box. See, I was just gonna, I, I thought I was really gonna surprise you with the $29.99. I thought you were gonna be like, Laura, my God, we'll never get $29.99 for that. <laughs> I can't believe. I was thinking maybe $10. 29 we priced it too low you guys look in your closets for empty boxes who knows what that, you've got that's kind of my favorite one we've done so far I that's think. insane to me okay next on the list is this fitz and floyd parrot mug oh i think he's really pretty uh i paid kind of up for him what, mm -hmm. what did i pay for him you paid four dollars for this yeah he was at an antique mall so it's kind of hard as you guys know it's fun to go antiquing in the malls and things but it's hard to find anything to flip so, um, I picked him up where normally I would only pay maybe 50 cents or a dollar for a mug. So I went ahead and paid four for it, but, um, he was so pretty and he was marked Fitz and Floyd. I thought he might sell. Yeah. And he did. And so we got $15 for that one. That's pretty good. I think so. Okay. So we've got another watch box here, Laura, but this one was, is prettier. It looks more like a jewelry box. Oh yeah. That's the one that we got in Nashville, right? Yes. It said Clinton on it. Yeah. I love that. Um, it 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 didn't get a it didn't rack up a lot of views or anything, but it the old ones are made out of celluloid and it looks kind of like Bakelite, but it's that old precursor to plastic or whatever. Mm -hmm. So vintage, so and it was so pretty. You know, they made everything fancy. Yeah, it was like <laughs> the '40s, probably, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one you paid three dollars for, and we sold it for ten. Yeah, that was a cutie. Yes. Okay, so one more thing uh, that I've gotten here uh, from my dad. This was a 1978 vintage UK glass. That's the University of Kentucky. Again, he was just getting rid of some stuff, and I took this for $0 and sold it for $19.99. Yeah, we thought we were being smart getting that stuff listed for uh, March Madness, which... Alas, that Alas. didn't come to pass, but, no, but it sold anyway. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so the very last thing on our list that we sold this quarter was a set of um, three footed retro mugs, and these were very vintage looking and really cool. Yeah, they look like they, you know, just straight out of a 50s coffee shop or diner, <laughs> yeah. you know, but guess where those came from? Do you remember? I do remember. They came from your notorious cabinet deal that you spent too much money on. So if you missed that video, I got into a bidding war on an online auction <laughs> over this cabinet because this person just kept out bidding me. And I was like, they think they know that there's something really good in there. And so <laughs> I kept bidding and kept bidding. And when it came down to it, it wasn't really that great, but I've made my money back since. Yeah. I, I counted it up and I think that you've doubled your money actually on that. Yes. You can't beat that. <laughs> I know. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. So this quarter on items, we have spent $114.21 mm -hmm. and we've made $1,190.32 in sales. High five. I'm telling you. Isn't that's that great? Awesome. I think that's a really good quarter for us. Oh my gosh. That's, yeah, that's great. Yeah. And again, we don't um, um, offer free shipping. So we have shipping cost on top of that. And... I think that's really great. I mean, you have to, this is just purely in sales. This is not profit. So eBay, of course, takes out their fees. And if you promote an item, you know, you have to pay a little bit extra for that. But this is over a thousand dollars in sales for our first quarter. Yeah. And like you said, you know, it's not, um, we added it up. We didn't take eBay's number. eBay's number would have included shipping and stuff like that but we get paid for the shipping right so we took that part out for you guys exactly so really all we're out is the fees yes yeah so you know we we wanted to show this because we wanted you guys to know that if laura and i can do this with full-time jobs and busy schedules you guys can absolutely do this as well you know when she came to me last year and said i think we need to start selling stuff on ebay i was so reluctant and like what on earth 
you know, are we going to sell? <laughs> and, you know, nine months later, here we are with $2,000 in sales. You said that several times. <laughs> Laura, what are we going to sell? <laughs> Great, but what are we going to sell? She was right. She's always right. What are we going to sell? <laughs> We're going to sell Hot Wheels and empty watch boxes and... Laura Kurt was uh, right. Afghans. I'm telling you. <laughs> you, you know... It was fun. It's been fun. It has been fun. Okay, guys. So I want to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Like this video and comment below. We love to read and respond to your comments. And stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Bye.